Reflection for Sunday, August 13, 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 33. An extraordinary minister of the Holy Communion would go to the house of an 84-year-old man every Sunday so that he could receive Jesus through the sacrament of Holy Communion. Being sick and old, he could hardly move and barely speak. However, the minister of Holy Communion would always notice that the moment he arrives, the elderly man would encourage everyone in their house to be silent. Then, on a small table, the candle is immediately lit, after which the corporal is neatly laid and the peaks open to expose the body of Christ. While seated, he would bow in reverence to worship Jesus before he receives the body of Christ. It is always a moving experience for the minister of the Holy Communion as he observes the old man worship Jesus, how he quietly desires to reverently receive the body of Christ, and how Jesus creates peace and calmness in his life. In the first reading, the Lord God said to Elijah, Go outside the mountain, for God will be passing by. There was a strong wind, but God was not there. Then an earthquake followed, but God was still not there. Subsequently, fire came, but God was not in the fire. After these thundering false manifestations, came a tiny whispering sound of silence, and it was God. In our Gospel, the boat where the disciples were was being battered by the waves. Then, amidst the disturbance, Jesus came silently walking on the violent water to assure them that in their fearful and unstable present environment, He is there to calm them and to reassure them that everything would be all right for He is there to save them all. We are oftentimes tossed upside down by our worries and problems that generate fear in our hearts. We are being tossed by the fear of losing our jobs. We are being disturbed by the fear of sickness and death. We are being tossed by the fear of getting old. And we have countless more fears that we keep to ourselves. But in the middle of all these fears and disturbances in our life, Jesus silently comes into our hearts to assure and calm us that everything will be all right, to say to us that we need not fear, and to say to us to remain strong in your faith, for I am here to save you.